What's up guys, it's Lou from UnboxTherapy.com and today we're going to take a look at the 11 inch MacBook Air. Now this product's been out for a little while so there are a number of unboxings already on YouTube but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to take out my macro lens and get up close and personal with this baby so if you stick around till the end you're going to get closer to this MacBook Air than you probably ever have before <laughs> probably closer than human eyes can get if you know what I'm saying so stick around is going to be worthwhile anyway getting back to the unboxing we're going to peel off this plastic covering and like all Apple packages you can see this is simplicity at its best you get right to the main attraction the 11 inch MacBook Air and let me tell you, it's crazy light. I mean, it doesn't feel that much heavier than the iPad 2 in my hands. I mean, I know it is, but it doesn't really feel like that much more. We got our MagSafe power brick. And these are fairly ubiquitous. They all look the same uh, across the entire MacBook product line. But they are different because they supply different amounts of power. And the sizes are a little bit different too, depending on which MacBook we're talking about. But what's nice about these is they have this removable prong system here. So you can pop that baby off and use the extension if you need to be further away from the outlet. Or you can leave the extension at home and uh, travel a little bit lighter. So it's nice to have that option and... PC manufacturers haven't really figured that one out yet. I don't know why. Anyway, we've got our actual MagSafe portion, and that's been redesigned for a while now. I actually had some older MacBooks with the previous style, and it had a tendency to fray. So hopefully this new one is better. Here is everything else. We've got our Hello Guide. It's basically a quick start guide. I won't be reading that because I won't need to, but it's there for anybody that likes to kick it old school. Next, we've got our USB thumb drive, which is actually going to be used for software restoration. Obviously, this machine doesn't have a disk drive, so that's the way to go. A little bit more documentation and the ubiquitous Apple stickers. Next, we've got the unit itself all alone and about to get naked <laughs> let's see if I can get this plastic off of here there we have it and like I said guys this is just crazy light I mean it's amazing what's happened with laptops I remember the first laptop I ever owned thing had to be like 10 pounds you know now we're looking at something that's two or just over two it's quite crazy stuff. Anyway, let's see if I can uh, pop it open here and maybe get it booted up. I'm probably not going to do the whole setup sequence, but I'll show you guys the first boot nonetheless. You can get a look at the keyboard here too, and it's a nice size when you consider the overall size of the laptop. So there we are. That's that first boot. Virgin boot. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not going to do the whole complete setup, but at least you can see how quickly it boots the first time around. Now, it should speed up uh, after the initial boot because there's all that setup shit going on. But you're not really going to shut this thing down too much because it's got that instant on kind of thing where you pop the lid up and you're right into the OS. So it's not going to be a real issue waiting to boot, I don't think. So there you have it. Time to get close to this baby. Here we go. So we got a USB. We got our display adapter port on the left hand side. And on the right hand side we got our microphone. Our headphone. Another USB. And of course our MagSafe. Here's a closer look at the keys. Of course you're not going to get the backlit keyboard on this unit. It's just too thin for it. That's all right. Anyway, it was a fun unboxing. I can't wait to use this thing and get a review up for you guys. So be sure to subscribe. 
so that you can catch that review as soon as it comes up. Oh, there it is up against my iPad too, and I'm telling you, it ain't much bigger. Anyways, hope to see you guys around the channel. Comment if you have any questions. Later.